Well, hello, and welcome to Pod... Hello, Claire. Welcome to Pod Sofa. (laughs) Live from the uh, Black Box Theater in historic downtown Providence over Necronomicon with a live studio audience, we're here to talk about... The, the fungi from fungi fungi from yoga, aka the migo, not my go, amigo, like amigo, like they're your friends, right? Uh, and we uh, are just gonna go in. Thank you so much to the audience for being patient with our technical difficulties, but we're good. And thank you. Woo! Technical difficulties. All right. Hi, how are you doing over there? You good? I'm good, I think. All right. Yes, yes. perfect. Is that too loud? It's not too loud. It's okay. a little bit low for me, but... A little bit? All right. Oh, All good. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we'll, we'll bump it up. Whatever. All right. All right. Well, honey, can you, can you introduce our special guest here? <laughs> yeah. Just flip him around. He's good. All right. There we go. It's Raider, everybody. It's Raider, friend of the show. Uh, he's he's here tonight. Thank you. Uh, just I quick. had no idea he looks like that. <laughs> yeah. No, I asked him an email. So Zrader has been writing to us quite a bit, bit lately. Um, he lives nearby, and I w- he was like, maybe I'll come to the show. I'm like, no, you're definitely coming to the show. By the way, what celebrity do you look like in the dark? <laughs> and he told me, well... Jason Statham, and also I'm going to go die of embarrassment. How many people have ever heard this podcast before? Just applause. Oh, really? Look at that. That, That's at least five people. That's at least five. So on this podcast, for everybody else, it was a large (laughs) proportion never has. Um, the way the podcast works is this, is that uh, every odd-numbered episode, starting with episode number one, uh, I read a Lovecraft story, and then on the even episodes, I discuss them with my attorney and wife, Claire. Um, I am a lifetime Lovecraft nerd. Oh, shit, I forgot to turn this on. This is an important piece of set, right? Yeah, I mean, this is going to make the show. All right, well... <laughs> Okay, I gotta take. No, you don't have to. Right. I don't have to do it. I don't have to. Yeah. I can. I can. No, they, they've been no, waiting. No, waiting they've for a while, but yeah. we gave them pizza. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here is here is the deal, though. I don't know if anybody here is from the Midwest. Anybody? Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what is a Midwesterner's worst nightmare? It's having a party and not having enough food for everyone. <laughs> I was so stressed about how many pizzas to order, and I feel like I didn't get enough. Well, that's, that's your it, cross to bear, I guess. We're all still here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, last episode, I read The Fungi from Yo- Sorry, no de- definite article. Fungi from Yogoth, uh, a cycle of 36 sonnets by H.P. Lovecraft. Normally, I read Lovecraft stories. We kind of go beat for beat through the story. We talk about it. We joke about it. We talk about what was like going on in Lovecraft's life. We talk about what was going on in the world. <sighs> hey, usually we talk about Lovecraft's racism. Uh, seems pretty absent in this one. So. Oh, I, I spotted one. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. Um, so... <laughs> So keep an eye out for that, everybody. Uh, and so we're just gonna um, it's like bingo. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just talk about uh, we're gonna talk about Funky from Yogoth. Um, I have distributed through many. I'm gonna say like 80 percent of the audience individual sonnets from the Fungi of Yogoth. You are welcome to read them. You're welcome to um, contemplate them, think about them. Hope maybe we talk about them for 20 seconds. If yours is boring and lame, trade with your partner. Uh, either to the right or to the left, it's fine. Um, some of them eh, are not great. Uh, but some of them are ball- bangers, right? Um, so we're going to... Uh, and so I guess we'll just... You want to just jump into the story? Let's do it. All right. So 
here's the, oh, wait a minute, I'm not at my spot. Yeah, I definitely, so you guys all get to, and, and ladies and gentlemen and, and non-binary and everybody, um, we do this in our house, sometimes with children around, <laughs> sometimes with the dog. Um, this is the largest live audience I think we've had. We did this last year in, in at the London yes. Lovecraft Festival. It was the, great. It was super fun. The least Shut likely up, to poop Kai. on the floor. Where's my Where's my Londoners at? All right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was It was great. It was fine. It was It was maybe a quarter the size. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, with that, thank you, honey. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my first question. Uh, when, oh, no, I don't even have a question. So I have a bit of trivia. So these were written, they weren't published in their entirety in, until 1941 by Arkham House. Um, until then, they were published kind of like onesie twosies and weird tales and, and friends. By the way, if I'm, if I'm wrong, there's a microphone for you to say, well, actually, <laughs> that's the well, actually microphone. So feel free, run up there, I will unmute it and... Yeah, that's, that's your live feedback uh, opportunity. Anyway, uh, they, they weren't published until 1941. He wrote them between December uh, 27th and January 4th, 1929 to 1930. I erroneously called that the, the Christmas season, and that was incorrect. Uh, it was much more properly Hanukkah season because Hanukkah... In, in the year 1929 to 1930, lasted from December 26th to January 2nd. I get real nerdy about this shit, guys. I'm sorry, it's not super funny, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think and, you're in the right place, Todd. And so it was a Hanukkah miracle um, that he wrote <laughs> The Fungi from Yagoth in a time of, like, reflection, and I assume. Uh, <laughs> and... And, and great. And so I would like to suggest to everyone in the room and everyone listening later on. By the way, uh, hang on. I can't do that. I can't do that thing, by the way. Because um, I can't edit it. This is live. <laughs> do it um, live, damn it. I know. We'll do it live. Um, because it was written over the holiday season, uh, I strongly re recommend that you force your children and grandchildren to read <laughs> Funky from Yakov Around the Fire. Before, make them do it before they open Christmas gifts. Yeah, if That's they want to sure. open a, a Christmas yeah. or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa gift, they must read a sonnet. Yeah. Um, that's, that's my recommendation to you, dear listener. So, so that's my first note. It's my first note. My second note, before we even get into it, is the title. The Fungi... Just Fungi. Fungi? Fun fungi, I think. I, I, I got on the Discord um, for Necronomicon. I'm like, hey, gang, how do you pronounce? I always have pronounced it my go. Everybody else pronounces it me. My go, applaud. Me go? Ooh. Yeah. Wow, all right. So I'm wrong. I'm wrong. All right. Once again. Um, <laughs> I like you know, it. It's good. <laughs> It's great. Uh, we, we all learned something today. It's Amigo. It's one, one Migo is Amigo. Ah? Ah? Yeah. They're friends. They're friends of people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my, this is my issue with the title. <laughs> Fungi from Yagoth. I really like the, the Migo. I like the Fungi from Yagoth. Um, Yagoth itself is mentioned twice in all 36. A Fungi is mentioned one time. Mm-hmm. I have written down, you are going to have fungi on your fungi poem tour. Right? I'm not getting <laughs> no laughs from anybody like Jurassic Park? Anybody? <laughs> you anybody? are A little movie having... you might have heard of it. Yes. yes. Fungi on your <laughs> Thank fungi you. that was from much Yoga. better. <laughs> no. No, very few. And, and so, at, honestly, like, before this, before this reading, I did just like a couple weeks ago, I had never read The Fungi from Yogoth. I'm a bad Lovecraft nerd because I didn't give a shit. Ooh, there's swears, by the way. I hope there's okay. swears. Okay. I yeah. don't give a spit about uh, Lovecraft's poetry, mainly for one poem that I think we all know. Um, and so I'm very much more into the stories than the poetry. I decided, oh, we're going to be performing at Black Box. They do a lot of poetry it would be fun to do some poetry here. So that's why we did it, right? So, but anyway, I was surprised 
that it wasn't about the fungi from Yogath. My second theory as I was reading was like, oh, well, maybe it was written by some fungi from Yogath about their, like, weird religion and, you know, all the cool things that they do and, like, stealing brains and putting them in cases. and No, no, not that. It's just kind of a pastiche of everything. But I will say many elements in these stories show up. In, many elements in these, in these sonnets do show up in later stories. How many people are actually kind of familiar with fungi from Yogat? Okay, all right, thank you. Um, so, uh, half-ish, that's good, that's great, that's kind of our target audience. <laughs> um, it's funny, on the podcast, I'm, I keep asking, it's like, hey, do you just like the discussion episodes or do you like the readings? And it's 50-50, it's down the line every, every time. So, we'll just keep doing what we're doing, I guess. <laughs> Um, I mean, so, it's become a real money maker. Oh yeah, so. I make six dollars a month, gang. Six dollars a month. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this Mama needs a new Starbucks. <laughs> That's right. Once a month. Um, like I was saying, a lot of these elements do show up in, in uh, chronologically later stories, such as Whisper in the Darkness, which um, immediately was, I think, the next thing that was published after these were written, right? It was published in, like, February or March of 1930. Um, At the Mountains of Madness, Shadow of Ransmith, Dreams in the Witch House, Thing of the Doorstep, The Book, and Shadow of Time. If these stories resonate for you, that, that's, my, that's my kink. I love these stories so much. This is like, for me, like core Lovecraft to me are, is that story. Yeah, no, there's no Call of Cthulhu in there. That was 1924. It was an early hit. It was great. Um, no, none of the dream cycle, which I never really cared about until recently. Um, but yeah, like that chunk, it all has roots in the sonnets, which I... No, I think it. I think it's interesting. I do too. <laughs> so, um, so th that, that's my kind of overall impression. Claire, you have a lot of notes in a very scary notebook. I yes, it's a. I don't know if anyone can see this, but yeah, no, I I just wrote notes for each sonnet. Great. So, yeah, but I know we're not going to hit them all because we're not going to hit them all. No. So. <laughs> Um, These lovely people have lives. They do. Do they? They came to Necronomicon. That's right. I don't want to. No, I love you all. You're my favorite nerds. Um, yeah, true. They, uh, no, that one thing I was worried about is I make a lot of fun of H.P. Lovecraft. Like, you definitely do. Because he's an overwrought nerd. I was also an overwrought nerd. So, <laughs> you know, what was I have license. Like, what was that word? Overwrought. Oh, overwrought. Okay. Yes. Got it. So, as I was recording these a couple weeks ago, a week ago? A week ago, maybe. Um, you know, in Evil Dead or The Gate or Cabin in the Woods, where the main character reads aloud from a cursed text, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed <laughs> that nothing happened. Oh. Well, nothing that you know of. No, no, I guess not. But, like, that was kind of my goal, I guess, is, is some of that. But anyway, we could go, let's just, let's, just get into the, let's just get into it. So the first three sonnets, I do believe, um, like, are, they, they are, like, one contiguous piece, which gets repeated later in the book in, in a prose form. But what, what, are your, what are your thoughts? No, it just, he shoplifts thing? a Thomas Guide to Young Shoplifting, content warning, shoplifting. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's all I've got. The, okay. No, I was just shocked because it's like, oh, lovely poem, lovely poem. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, did he just, he just shoplifted? <laughs> Tried to make it poetic? He did. He did shoplift. Um, there's, so in, in, um, in, in number four, in recognition, uh, who has number four, by the way? Just applaud because I can't see anything. Woo! All right, over there. Great. <laughs> In number four, it's the first mention of the titular fungi. Um, but I don't know if they're actually the fungi. They're the, it, it's only because it's on Yugath, and they're kind of acting like ghouls. I Are can't you talking about when he says an herbage rank and wild? 
I'm talking about the body shrieked, and I knew oh. all too late. That I don't it was know. Off. I was just like, oh, this is the first time Lovecraft has smelled weed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very good, very good. I have a whole theory about, like, you can track his, you know. Oh, no, go for it. Does anyone, I mean, does anyone know, did Lovecraft smoke marijuana? No, of course no. not. No, he was All a right. teetotaler. <laughs> yeah, see, Claire, yeah, I know nothing. stupid are okay. you? I am very stupid when it comes to Lovecraft stuff. No, that's my whole thing. <laughs> oh, you're right. It could have been, audience. okay, it could have been that. All right. I just thought that, like, as the poems went on, they got more and more, uh, you know, weird. They did. So maybe that could explain it. I mean, Opium maybe. or marijuana. I mean, it had I mean, a week yeah. over, you know, the holiday. That's right. If you only wrote it in a week. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just thought an herbage rank and wild was like. I've been talking way too much. You should take over. For your also, time. yeah. I and, I, and I have a drink to deal no, with. No, at the end, I mean, he's. Dun dun dun! At the end of recognition, it's I him that's being eaten alive. Here for dun dun dun. Where's my dun? dun I can't dun. read your yeah. writing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got buttons written down here. Wait, 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 wait! I have it. Okay, do it again. Do it again. I'm dun dun dun! Oh nope, shit! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one being eaten alive. He's the one, right? So that's great. Um, Let's see, we're, what, like 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes in here. Can no we, one's walked out yet that I can, can see. We, can we ch cut to the chase, Claire? Yeah, do it. Um, what's, which one was your favorite? That. And don't say number 20, because that's my favorite. Would be. But, oh, spoiler. My favorite was The Window. Okay. Number. 16. 16, thank nice. you. Thank you. I'm like, X, V, 1. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, this is really good. This is a really okay. good one. I have a bunch yeah. of notes on this one. Yeah. Go it, for it. it tell well, tell no, us it what just, happens in the window. Uh, I don't have it open in front of me. I only have my notes, but I know he's talking about like how when he was a kid, there was an area that he really liked to go back and look at, and then yep. later on, he brings builders or something, and they knock it open. Masons. And it's... And, it's a, you, and you know what that means. Is it a mason Stone if you're workers. unmasoning? <laughs> you're, I don't know. He, um, and yeah, and masons. he finds the portal to Narnia. Uh -huh. So, little known fact. That's true. I felt like it was a little bit music of Eric Zahn, right? Like, there's a window that looks into the void... By the way, we talk. What? I re guys, <laughs> we, we've done so many discussions. Each of our episodes is we a discussion of a story, and I don't. Once it's done, it's out. I don't remember it. So forgive me. <laughs> Very for not volatile memory. Mm -hmm. Sir, you have went the window. Yes. This gentleman back there. With oh, the oh, over there. Yes. yes. Sir, you have the window. Yes. Would you like to read the window for us? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Can I say your name? That's on your. That's on your guest. B B B B B. All right. Uh, this is. Can I say your name? Marcel. I, mouse. Mouse. Let's go with mouse. All right. All right. The window. The house was old, with tangled wing, wings outthrown, of which no one could ever half keep track. And in a small room, somewhat the near the back, was an odd window sealed with ancient stone. There, in a dream-plagued childhood, quite alone, I used to go, where night reigned vague and black, parting the cobwebs with a curious lack of fear, and with a wonder each time grown. One later day, I brought the masons there to find what view my dim forebears had shunned, but as they pierced the stone, a rush of air burst from the alien voids that yawned beyond. They fled, but I peered through and found unrolled all the wild worlds of which my dreams had told. Excellent. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed? It for? was. I loved it. Excellent. No, I just really like that one because it, you know, I do a lot of making fun. I do a lot of making fun of him, but every once in a while, he, you know, hits a solid. He nails it. Yeah, and uh, that one I liked a lot because it really. I mean, honestly. I can see a big star. Like, yeah. In your notes. It's, I mean, I, I have a lot of jokes written down, but then I have <laughs> a lot of um, 
stuff where it kind of makes me sad because so many of these poems are about like it feels like the only joy that he has is from things that he remembers from dreams mm -hmm. and that made me sad so wow yeah sorry to bring everybody down <laughs> there we go yes thank you <laughs> But, yep, that's all I got. I'm moving my microphone up here. Oh, my God. You guys don't even know how it is <laughs> no, dealing with great. him. He's become a, an audio nerd. I have not. Yes, you have. Okay. Love you. <laughs> oh, Todd. Yes. What's your favorite poem? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. I have it right here. <laughs> oh. I picked it out myself. Um, my favorite is, is Night Gaunts. Um, it's number 20. I, I pulled it from the stack. Sorry. Uh, it's my show. I get to do it. Um, <laughs> however, I thought... Well, I should read it, right? I should just read it through. Because oh, nobody's, nobody's super familiar with it? All right. I'm going to read it through, but I have a twist. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we at here? Which, which mic am I? Am I this one? I don't know which one I am. All right. Number 20, Night Gaunts. Out of what crypt they crawl, I cannot tell. But every night I see the rubbery things, black, horned, and slender with membranous wings, and tails that bear the bifid barb of hell. They come in legions on the north wind's swell with obscene clutch that titillates and stings with obs ooh, snatching god damn it snap <laughs> i wish i had an edit button but i don't it's live snatching me off on monstrous voyagings to gray worlds hidden deep in nightmares well over the jagged peats over the jagged peats right over there over it's my the brother, jag pete. yeah his br her brother pete is over here <laughs> yeah Good break. All right, shut up. This is serious. <laughs> Over the jagged peaks of Thok they sweep, heedless of all the cries I try to make, and down the nether pits to that foul lake where the puffed shoggoths splash in doubtful sleep. But oh, if only they would make some sound or wear a face where a face should be we're found. Fa faces, honey. It's where faces should Whatever. be found. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's the well, actually, Mike. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Too lazy. Thank you. Um, so that one's my favorite. I, I freaking love the Night Gaunts. I think they're great monsters in Call of Cthulhu. I think they're great monsters in Arkham Horror, a living card game. I think they're great all around. The thing I like the most about the Night Gaunts is that uh, one Howard Phillips Lovecraft really hated being tickled. He just hated it. <laughs> And that's what these motherfuckers do. They just grab you and tickle you. <laughs> and it's the fucking worst. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional and sweary about it. I also don't enjoy being tickled very much. <laughs> and so, like, this is my, um, you know, I'm, I, 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 I definitely identify with Lovecraft on this one. Nothing would be worse than getting snatched by, like, an eight-foot-tall man bat and just getting tickled all over. It, that titillate and sting. It Hate sucks. It, it sucks. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite one. But here's what my theory presupposes is that what if we put it to music? And so I asked my good friend, what the fuck is my good friend's name? Uh, <laughs> Suno.ai. Suno Everyone, anyone familiar with Suno.ai? Yeah, yeah. yeah, good, good, good reaction. Um, it is, it is an AI. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, it is, it is. I an, agree with you, sir. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, it is a uh, stealing other people's art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Way to cr to create slash steal music uh, in a way that is uh, extremely low on the labor, high on the yuck, yuck, yucks. I think. Pretty good for a podcast. So, 
I present to you. So I was asking Clara the other two nights ago as we were preparing for this, which is exactly when I started preparing for this. Um, I asked Clara, it's like, hey, would it be funny if we set some to music with, I don't know, random <laughs> styles? And she's like, I don't know, maybe. I'm like, well, tell me a random music style. And she's like, Chicago, Broadway, Bob Fosse. And I'm like, sold. <laughs> and so I give to you Night Gaunts, Night Gaunts, I'm so bad at talking. Night Gaunts in the style of uh, Big Ben Jazz. Out of what crypt they crawl, I cannot tell. But every night I see the rubbery thing. Black, a horned and slender, with membraneous wings, and tails that bear the bifid barb of hell. They come in legions on the north wind swell, with obscene clutch that titillates and stings, snatching me off on monstrous voyagings to gray worlds hidden deep in nightmares well. And who could be upset with that happening? Over the jagged peaks of fuck they sweep, Heedless of all the cries I try to make And down the nether pits to that foul lake Where the puff shog off splash in doubtful sleep But oh, if only they would make some sound Or wear a face where faces should be found So anyway. So it's more like that. Yeah. <laughs> and don't worry, it sir, in so the back. We are, we are not taking any money from any creators with this. Now, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Uh, Podsothoth.bandcamp.com would oh like to God. have a word with you. <laughs> <laughs> boo indeed. Boo indeed. You are right. Um, but I think it's a fun toy. It is fun. Yeah. It's a fun toy. No, I started laughing when I heard that one. I, I, I can't said, get this yeah. goddamn song out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> For the last two days. Computer creates a song. Yeah. Uh, I have play- apparently, I've played it only nine times. Oh I God. feel like I've played it 90 <laughs> times. Me too. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's get back to, I don't know, talking about some of these sonnets, right? Yeah. All right, which, um, I, I mean, I talk, you talked about one. I talked about, you want to, like, mm-hmm. switch back and forth? We have readers. Uh, yeah, apparently. let's have somebody pick one. Who has a oh. sonnet in their hand that they really like that they want to read live uh, in front of a bunch of strangers? <laughs> Do it, my dude. All right. Should we switch the microphone around so that they're facing out? Yeah, you can, you can, you can swerve it if you want. <laughs> All right. You're going to have to be like right not, on top. Hang yeah. on. Liking some, it is not I got to do some engineering here. All right. Do no, you, you need <laughs> big jazz. <laughs> oh, if only he would make a sound. The canal, sonnet number 24. Somewhere in dream, there is an evil place where tall, deserted buildings crowd along a deep, black, narrow channel reeking strong of frightful things whence oily currents race. Lanes with old whales half meeting overhead wind off to streets one may or may not know, and feeble moonlight sheds a spectral glow over long rows of windows, dark and dead. There are no footfalls, and the one soft sound is of the oily water as it glides under stone bridges, and along the sides of its deep flume to some vague ocean bound. None lives to tell when that stream washed away its stream lost region from the world of clay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Do you have any notes on the canal? And obviously this is about corporate pollution. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. 
Yes. <laughs> How dare you? I'm sorry. My only notes on Canal was uh, that, like, literally just those four characters, U-H-H-H. <laughs> um, no, this one, it made me think immediately of... Um, I don't know. Sorry if there's anybody here that loves Elon Musk, but no, we not sorry, a, <laughs> not sorry. We uh, we live in Austin, and um, you know he's got a whole bunch of stuff around there. But out in Bastrop, he's got his boring company headquarters, or headquarters. I don't know something. Part of the boring company is there, and I just keep seeing newspaper articles about him. You know, they're dumping a bunch of sludge into. One of the, whichever river that is, I don't know. Great. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. You know, just making himself beloved to the local population. So, I'm going to try that. I'm, I'm not going to do it every time. I did, I We're do. worried. Are we worried about this one guy that hates the AI? Is that what's happening? No, I'm not worried oh, about okay. him at all. You know, you're allowed to hate AI. <laughs> That's fine. I still think it's a fun toy. Um, if you, like wanted to set this to music. <laughs> Can I maybe ask the audience in like an improv, hey, give me a situation, style of what style of music would you like to hear the canal? Ska goth rockabilly. How about a ska goth rockabilly? <laughs> ska... Goth, rockabilly, fusion, in the style of uh, uh, big, bad, voodoo, daddy. Well, that's not ska. Okay. Well, they're rock. That's, okay. That's all right. All right. You're right. And rockabilly. You're right. I should be quiet. I don't know. I still listen to. You're a equal yeah. partner. In no, this I know, but my musical. Not big bod voodoo taste, daddy. So. God damn it. I, was, I listen to dad rock. Well, we'll do a dad rock, yacht rock. So that, that's later. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Buy, make a Christmas CD. It, it will yeah. make a Christmas CD. Don't worry. And uh, give me like, what kind of goth are we talking about? Are we talking like, are we talking like Susie? Okay. Susie and the Banshees. All right. Here we go. And here's my lyrics. And oh, paste, motherfucker. Here we go. Uh, perfect. And what is this called? This is called the canal. The canal. Wonderful. Sorry, this is this is the boring part where I type on my phone. All right. Just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. Just a moment. Oh, maybe no moments. What? What Whoa. are you fucking talking All about? Right. <laughs> no. What? I'm shocked it didn't come through for us. I know, right? What did, it like yelled at me for like a second, but I couldn't even see. <sighs> I know. I know. What is it? It heard that guy back there talking shit out about it. Yeah. That's the problem. It's like, oh, you know that guy? I will. How about we just fuck up your whole show? Scott. <laughs> Yeah. I think it didn't like, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Go ska, goth, rockabilly, right? Yeah. I think it didn't like that I, like, There was a lot of detail the, in yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Exclamation point. That's it. All right. Uh, sorry. So Can you vamp for me, please? My my yes. Thank um... You. How about your local sports team? <laughs> sports. Mm -hmm. sports ball. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Any Chicago Cubs fans? Oh my God. <laughs> Pete, where are you? <laughs> at, yeah, at, least, know, yeah, at least my brother. God, come on. <laughs> All, right. All right, shut up. Here comes your okay. Scott Goth Rock right. song.
and then it just does it again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a I have a limited time uh, attention span. <laughs> No, at first I was getting a little bit, um, what's the super cool, oh my God, I can't believe I don't know yeah. this here. What's the cool, super cool Boston Irish band that everyone loves? Dropkick the, Murphys. The Dropkick Murphys, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I could not think of it. <laughs> I got a little bit of that until it went into the, you know, the, the slide guitar or whatever that yep. is. I don't know. All right, well. Now we know the answer to <laughs> will this be funny or will it be <laughs> anti-comedy? Uh, that's right. We now know. So that's fine. We can just uh, go back to your fine. regular. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just like just dash all my dreams of making millions on Bandcamp. <laughs> that's fine. Um, hey, in Star Wins, who has Star Wins? Second favorite? Nobody has Star Wins? Really? Oh, uh, fuck if I know. Okay, hang on. I'll find it. I'll find it because that was, I have the all of these labeled in 14 sections. 14 star okay. wins. Yeah. Where I have first section is All right, it's fine if you're all shy. Right, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. Uh, and, and star, I, I like star wins a lot mainly because it's- That's seemed, in his lady superhero era. Yeah. There's Hesperia, <laughs> star wins. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, these are all, this is a lady superhero team. <laughs> Antarctis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I like this one mainly because it seemed to mention Yalgoth. It, it, it has, the, the actual line in the, in the second verse was, what fungi sprout in Yalgoth and what scents and tints of flowers fill Nithon's continents. I don't know where Nithon is. I don't think Nithon ever shows up again. Maybe Yagoth is a country in Nygoth, and all of that is Pluto, which is not a planet. It's a border dispute, you guys. You don't want to hear right. about this. A border <laughs> dispute. Oh, it's a border <laughs> dispute. Okay. Um, you know, but I did like, I, I like Star Wars. It was mainly because it mentions fungi and Yagoth in the same line. <laughs> no, I just noticed that it was, okay, so it was like, he had his first, w- once we hit... Hesperia. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is the lady su- superhero era. But before that, yeah. when it was like pigeon flyers, the well, the howler, I'm like, oh, that's Six Flags Ride era. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pigeon flyers has a line in it. And we're kind of jumping all over the place, which is unusual <laughs> for our podcast. This is not, <laughs> but it's poetry. We're usually we're so do? disciplined. We're very disciplined, <laughs> line by line. Um, in Pigeon Flyers, oh, there's a line of "They took me slumming." Yeah, he goes. To oh, you caught you caught that one too. Lovecraft first rave. By the way, <laughs> yeah, they took him to a rave. Fires blazing, drums. I'm trying to imagine Lovecraft at a rave. So I, I standing awkwardly they in the took corner, me slumming as they took me to get really good street food. Well, yeah. See, I, That's I don't what know. One I went does to <laughs> when one slums, I guess. Uh, also, I don't know what a pigeon flyer is, unless it's just a pigeon. It's a Six Flags ride. Oh, it's the Six Flags ride. So I was, I was. Wait, we have somebody over here. Oh, actually. Well, yes. Please. <laughs> thank you, thank you for correctly uh, using. I believe that's actually. well, actually. <laughs> I would like to thank my book copy of uh, <laughs> Fun Guy from New Goth for teaching me this. Uh, pigeon Flyers was a hobby of New Yorkers at the time where they would raise pigeons on like their rooftops and send them out oh. flying. Yeah. Oh, Love okay. Cat Cat King talked to like a friend of his and he was like, if no one's from New York, they're going to have no idea what this poem's about. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Accurate. Thank you. Thank you so much. I thank you. Now I know, um, and you know, the more you know, of course. Uh, I was just only reminded of um, how many people play Arkham Horror, the living card game. Wow, not many. Wow. Uh, if I say Whipperwill to you, Whipperwill. Uh, yeah. So those, immediate those up. little bastards. Those little motherfuckers, right? Like, that's what, that's the only thing I thought of. But thank you, thank you for the explanation of the pigeon flyers. Woo! A New York hobby, as we all know, that Lovecraft hated everything about New York. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, see our episode on the horror at Red Hook for more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, go for it. Take take oh, it away. Oh, I have to take it away. Yeah, you got it. Well, you're not closing it down. We're only like 40 minutes okay. in. You All right. started hella um, late. Okay. So anyway, no, we have. Uh, so first we had the the story of him shoplifting. Then yeah. we had the Six Flags ride era. Then right. we have Lady Superhero flies, era. The well, the howler, yeah, can you tell I that I have a teenage daughter? I'm talking about eras. You just the eras right here. Put everything into different yeah, eras. Yeah, everything's yeah. eras. Then starting with. Um, Night Gaunts is the last ride, mm. uh, last one of the Six Flags rides. A horrible there. ride yeah. of tickling. Yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we enter with Nyarlathotep. Oh, we ha- we enter the Vegas Hotel era. Have Mi- I mispronounced it? Mister Hotep, I believe is Mr. what, Hotep. S- what uh, we mi- settled on. We did. Oh, that's Bubba Hotep. I'm sorry, Harley, a, Harley yeah. and I. Oh, okay. Harley. By the way. Claire and Harley will be um, discussing Lovecraftian law tomorrow morning at the Armitage Symposium at 9.15 a.m. sharp. So don't stay up too late after the show. Uh, and they will be there tomorrow. Yes. Don't worry, Mr. Hotep makes an appearance. Yes, and the <laughs> ignorance of my own profession will be on full display. So. Yes, both actual real lawyers... No, anyway, then we have Nyra Lethotep, as a thought, Mirage, the Canal. These are all Vegas hotel era. Uh huh. <laughs> and then we had St. Toads, and I'm okay. like, I don't know what to do with that. I have in all yeah. caps for my notes for St. Toads as, what is this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is this a Mario Kart walkthrough? <laughs> Who has St. Toads? I'm not going to make you read it out loud. If you have it, if you want to, if you want to yeah. read it out loud, I very much invite you. Uh, it is... 25. 25 is St. Toad. XXV. <laughs> if you have it and want to read yes, it... Yes, I have an American please, education. I will invite you up to read it. If you don't want to read it, that's fine. I'll read it for you. Um, going once. Nobody has St. Toad's, right. really? I'm pretty sure I sorted it to the top I mean, this is a shitty poem, plate. so I understand why people might I'm be hiding. I'm going to guess St. Toad's is around here somewhere. No, nope. yeah. all right. That's fine. I'll read it to you. Um, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of old men screaming about sh- sh- music today. No, no spoilers. All oh, right, well, this I is spoiled. a Mario Kart walkthrough. Imagine I'm not going to put it to music. Uh, th- this bit did not work. <laughs> Beware, Saint Toad's cracks chimed. I'm going to start that again. Yes. Beware, Saint Toad's cracked chimes. I heard him scream as I plunged into those mad lanes that wind in labyrinth obscure and undefined, south of the river where old centuries dream. He was in furtive figure, bent and ragged, and in a flash he had staggered out of sight. So still I burrowed onward in the night toward where more roof lines rose. Malign and jagged. Just imagine Mario Kart. No guidebook told by guidebook he means Nintendo Power. No guidebook told of what I was what was lurking here. But now I heard another old man shriek, Beware St. Toad's crack chimes! And growing weak I paused when a third graybeard hurtful (laughs) when a third gray beard croaked in fear beware St. Toad's cracked chimes aghast I fled I'm a pirate (laughs) till suddenly that black spire loomed ahead thank you thank you for the snap the only thing I can see in this is a Mario Kart walkthrough <laughs> for St. Toad's Crack Chimes. Whatever you do, it's the do secret not unlock level. jump on that. Yeah, yeah, and you need a Nintendo Power in order to do, do it. Do everything you can, yeah. but don't jump on St. Yeah. Toad's Shout out for the chimes. Nintendo Power. Stop getting published in 2012. That was 12 years ago. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was like you two years ago. You have now aged yeah. into dust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Claire. Hit me. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm going to um, put you on the spot. Don't worry. We're going to be done soon. You're not missing anything. Go. All right. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> stare. Everyone stare. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, expectancy, which uh-huh. is number 28 
I stupidly have them all Roman numeral numbered. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, X, X, C. Yeah. No, Roman numerals um, are stupid and bad. We all know those. They, uh, that was the first one where, like, I, where I noticed. I was like, oh, he only experiences fun as something he remembers or remembers from a dream. But this one made me think of my number one rule for, like, I don't know how many people out here are parents. The best, one of the best pieces of advice my parents ever gave me was, like, when you take kids on vacation, you're not doing it for the actual fun oh, no. that you're experiencing on the vacation. You're doing it for the memory of the fun on vacation. The memory. Yes. There's, there's both a poem so, and a story. Yeah. By Lovecraft yeah. Called so memory. it's like, it's kind of crappy when it is actually happening. But then yeah. the way they remember it's it, it's like, it was the most amazing thing yeah, ever. And you're like, the, was it? It's for their past selves, yeah. right? Like, it's not for the present self. It's not for the future. They're not yeah. anticipating it. Maybe they're anticipating a little bit, but it's mainly for their past self. Yeah. Yeah. So a little parenting advice for you. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. He's, he's, he's got to do the thing. As I find it. Yeah. How do you do, fellow kids? Yeah. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, hey, Claire. You keep you talking? Said you I can keep talking. Yeah. You, no, no, no. I'm going right. to talk now. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to talk and throw to you because that's how podcasts work. Uh, you mentioned there was maybe a little smidge of ethnocentricity. Oh, shit. I don't... Okay, now I have to try to remember what, uh, where All it right, was. you look it up. It was when he talks about... It's like a mongrel crowd or something. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah well, there I it mean, is. you're going to have I, And I w that's when I thought, oh, he just he couldn't... The courtyard, he couldn't help himself. number nine. Number yeah. Number nine, the courtyard. Yeah, no, that, it was... That, so that's that it? Like, you that's could, your whole thing? Yeah, well, it's like, like you, he could have... The mongrel He could have done without that. He could have, yeah. Yeah. You he wasn't talking about... It's a sonnet. You need two syllables. What are you going to say? Wasn't, I, he wasn't the talking swarthy about... swarthy yeah. throngs? Yeah, or that. Yeah, that's always... Yeah. yeah. He's got a yeah, lot of synonyms. Swarthy is definitely a code word. It's like he's crap. got, you know, the racist uncle thesaurus. <laughs> 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 Very good. Racial, <laughs> racist Uncle Thesaurus, by the way, is my Tumblr account. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's your moneymaker right that's there. That's my moneymaker. That's the name of my, <laughs> name of my Bandcamp <laughs> album. That will never happen. Thank right. you, AI hater. <laughs> God, I thought it was such a good idea two days ago. Um, <laughs> all right. What do we got left? Um, uh, the port. I'm sorry? The port. Number eight. The port? I have just written down. It's all right after dinner. I have just you written can't just down. Drink port though. That's no, 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 no. I have like what? I don't. I don't remember what happens in the port. Does everybody have the port? Yeah. Was that number eight? Number eight. Yeah. Oh my God, we have. <laughs> I heard a. I heard a noise. I said maybe. You said maybe. maybe. It's very dark. They probably can't even see what numbers they have. Uh, probably. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Would you mind? Reading for this lovely audience and fr friends, really friends. That's, right, that's totally fine. understandable. That's fine. I I wouldn't want to read for these it? people. You should, you I don't have it in front of me. Sure, I have it. I for you. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. No, yeah. You brought it, it up. Right. Was it number eight? This is all for like the dumbest it's joke all for ever. Is what so, it is. all right. Ten miles from Arkham, I had struck the trail that rides the cliff edge over Boynton Beach. Boynton Beach. And hoped that just at sunset I could reach the crest that looks on Innsmouth in the Vale. Far out at sea was a retreating sail, white as hard years of ancient winds could bleach, but evil with some portent beyond speech, so that I did not wave my hand or hail. Sails out of Innsmouth, exclamation point, echoing old renown of long dead times, but now a too swift night is closing in, and I have reached the height whence I so often scan the distant town. The spires and roofs are there, but look, the, gl the, the gloom sinks on dark lanes as lightless as the tomb. Now, I had just written, okay, when I got to 10 miles, like, he's talking about ten miles hiking a trail, the cliff edge I, over Boynton Beach. I have a doubt that he's riding his bike. Yeah. And I was like, was, he, was, did he, was this about a hike? Is he a hiker? 
Did I he have an REI imagine, membership? I cannot imagine Howard Phillips Lovecraft hiking anywhere. Yeah, I guess they just call, I don't like know. He would have like a Literally. racking cough after right. the first <laughs> mile. All right. Uh, that's all I got. Guys. I did Sorry. read it as like, I read it as a bike ride, probably because we just read, um, what, what's the fucking one where he's, he's on the bike and he goes to the farmhouse and... Oh, the pic- yes. picture in the house. Thank, Thank you. you. The one picture where he gets house. murdered by the cannibal in the end. Yeah, that was my. Th- yeah. yeah, but there's a bike. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I think we are now comfortably losing the audience. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just real. F- okay. So we're gonna move on to business. Twenty four. No, nope, we're he not. T- he talks about <laughs> lava stairs. That's all. I just want to throw okay. out there lava stairs. Which lava I stairs? Was it's like, lava stairs? Oh, what is he? What <laughs> okay. is this, Minecraft? I know. All right. Anyway, all right. I'm done. All right. A uh, bit of business, uh, because this is a real podcast episode. What is going on with my computer? Um, we did get uh, one note uh, from Jana, I want to say. This is c- coming from memory. I could look it up, but... I don't want to make these people wait. Um, from Jana, who suggested she brought up a, an episode from like she must have just started because she brought up an episode from like I don't know four or five, so like way back in 2020 or something, saying like, "Hey, remember that time that Claire said she would read some stories? Wouldn't it be cool if Claire read some stories instead of me?" No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so Jana, I'm getting a mixed reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's, <laughs> Thank, Thank you. <laughs> I think I think they're saying it's like Todd. Claire, Todd. Cla- Claire shouldn't do it. Claire shouldn't do it. Yeah. No, of course Claire should read read a story. Well, yes. I'm not gonna do it right now, but well, no, no, not one. right yeah. now. No, no, we don't have that kind of time or editing power. Yeah. Um, <laughs> believe me, when. Uh, huh, if you want to read aloud to a podcast, uh, the edit button is a big deal. Like, I well, fucked up. Folks, we'll see about yeah. that. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Gauntlet thrown. Jana, look forward to a Claire reading. Uh, do one take. One take live. Uh, all do the it way alive. Through. No. Impossible. Impossible. All right. Um, that's. Because we've been releasing kind of fast lately, fa- fast for us anyway, um, we, that, that's, I think, the only mail we got in. Is Sean Patrick here? That motherfucker. Oh he God, lives 15 minutes away from this spot. But he's got a baby. <laughs> he's got a little baby yeah, boy, no, yes. You get a, he's yeah. great. And bring the baby, right? Like yeah. It's a, a bar. I have no problem cares. with that. Yeah. It's you got to <laughs> start sometime. Where else but, I mean, you know... So, Actual Providence, Raider, are you going to bring a baby you, to a bar? Actuals Raider here, he said he was a maybe. It's fine if you're this not. Is okay. okay, so none, of our, so none of our named fans, <laughs> except for Zrader. Is your name Zrader. John? Is John here? No. There's, come on, I'm, there's got to be somebody named John here. No. God, people. Is, right. is Pete here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the jagged, the jagged Pete over here. All right. Anyway, that's it. That's the whole Moving show. On. Um, do we have anything else? I no, I was, look, I was looking for the wah wah. Oh, you want a wah wah? No, I don't want a wah wah. I have it's a too late now. Do it. Uh, Fine. Do the. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, God, it's, right. it's, it's like literally labeled on yeah. the thing. It, right. That says pull rang tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because if you go to the other one, you get a tomato. Um, okay. Nope, so, well, that's not I'm going to need yeah. you. No, that says tomorrow. I'm in tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, my husband, be, not I the doctor, who should be night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was a that was a you should come in tomorrow. Actually, because so I had this queued up specifically because you and Harley and I, Harley, another lawyer in the darkness, lawyer in the darkness. Oh God, that's a good story, right? <laughs> um, have this 9:15 a.m. Uh, Armitage Symposium talk. And it would be great. Um, I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around 9, that would be great. Okay? 
<laughs> so yeah, that would be mm, great. Okay. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm not going to run through my whole soundboard. I will let he you. He wants love to. I definitely do. Uh, <laughs> Come I see will, us later if you want to hear everything on the soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Meet us later. I'll send you all the MP3s. Um, thank you so much. Necronomicon 2024, Providence, Rhode Island, USA, Earth, uh, for, for coming to our dumb live show. It's a dumb show. Thank, thank you. This is not, it was a little fishing, but not much fishing. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, definitely not fishing for yeah. applause. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> oh, you missed it. You missed it. Uh, we'll be releasing this episode ASAP probably tomorrow morning during... <laughs> um, thank you so much. If you yeah, if you, you like this show, much. tell your friends. Five star reviews, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, yeah. Okay, people are fucking leaving. Um, <laughs> hang on, I, I have I have outro music and everything. Shut they up. Have shit Don't, to do. Yeah, I know they got shit they got to do. There's a whole go. street party that's probably not rained out. And yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Yes. You're the best, <laughs> Claire. Jagged Pete. Harley. <laughs> <laughs>